Okay, so we're going to do a new project, and we're going to call this Fun with Shapes. Oops, spelled shapes wrong there. And it's going to be letter size 8.5 by 11, 300 pixels per inch, RGB, and there we go. So we're going to start by making a new layer and calling it Gradient. And we will go to the Gradient tool up here. And we're going to make two different colors from the foreground and the background. So I'm going to start with um, a yellow, or maybe even um, something more on, on the gold side. It's a little too dark. I like that. Okay, and then a blue for the background. You can choose any colors you like. And here we are at the gradient, and if you look up here, it has the gradient um, that we just made from the foreground to the background. We also have choices between the foreground and transparency, and as you go through these, you see what they are named. But let's go to this one that is custom, and we'll choose that, and we will double click on that. And what you can do is select the color, and you see it comes up here, and you can either delete it here, or you can just drag it off like this. You see, one or the other, it, it works. You can also come here and choose a color and bring it here and add a color that way. I'll choose something that's a little more, well, let me deselect here. Uh, I'll delete that for now. And let's choose a red. And I come here like that, you see. So you can do that. You can take colors on and off. You can also use the diamonds here to move how much of the color there's going to be. Okay, So I'm going to cancel that, so that's how you make your own gradients. So we're going to go back to the foreground to the background, and I will go ahead and just click at the top and drag down, and you see it puts down a gradient. I can also go from corner to corner, like that. Or I can choose one of these, the radial, like this, and go out like that for a radial, or a diamond, and go out like that for a diamond shape, or the line, like this. Or I can go to the star, like this. So you see, there's a bunch of different ones you can do, and you know you can play with them to see which effect you like. And we will use this one for now. So I'm going to make a new layer now, and I'm going to call it Rectangle. And I'm going to change the foreground to a deep blue. You can change it to any color you like. And we'll go to the Shape Tools, and I'll go to the Rectangle tool, and choose a rectangle. And I'm going to draw a rectangle across here by clicking up at the corner and just dragging over with my mouse. And then, oh well. Okay, it can be over a little bit. So um, I've got that. The next thing I'm going to do is subtract from this. And how I do that is I'm going to go to the Polygon tool because I want to make a star. And we'll go here to this little icon up at the option bar and make sure that star is checked. And we're going to make it 50% for the indent. And we will make a five-sided star. 
And we're going to do one more thing here. Where it says New Layer or Combined Shapes, we're going to choose Subtract from Shape. So we're going to subtract, actually, from this blue rectangle that we made. So we'll start out by just drawing a rectangle, I mean a star, excuse me. And like that. And we'll just keep going like that and drawing these. I'll put a little bitty one here. Okay, so you see we have that, and I'm going to come down to the bottom of my layers panel and show you what this looks like. So you can see that that looks really quite nice. So <coughs> um, the next thing we'll do is um, we will go and uh, to the type tool and um, I would like it to be Pro Marriott Pro semi bold 60 point and we're going to be um, center justified and if you don't have your ruler down bring it down and you can just click here where the um, four and a quarter is and in caps we are going to set Photoshop and click on OK like that. And then while this is still selected, we'll hit the FX down here and go to Bevel and Emboss. And we'll make the depth and make sure you've got preview on so that you can see what you're doing and soften and there you have it isn't that nice and you can give any other effects that you want to it now the last thing we're going to do is to come here and deselect and come in front of the gradient here and we will change the colors to autumn colors so let's make the foreground a autumn color, like this. Okay, and the background an autumn color. And then we're going to come to the brush tool. And let's choose the leaf and make it fairly big. And make sure our opacity is at 100%. And let's go like this with our brush. And let's make it a little bigger here. And we can even change some of the colors, if you like, uh, maybe to a green. See that? This. I didn't change the color. So you can see um, that is quite lovely, and um, please put your name on it and uh, print it out, and I hope you enjoy.